In this video I'm going to show you how to disable Windows services in Windows XP Pro and uh, you might be asking yourself what a Windows service is. It is a program that generally runs in the background. You'll never you'll almost never see a Windows service running. Uh, sometimes they're referred to as a daemon in uh, Linux or Unix, but they run in the background and come packaged with Windows and they help your computer do things like establish a remote connection, uh, queue up for a print server, uh, you know, tasks like that. Uh, there's a, a Windows service for running automatic updates. So first we need to know how to get to Windows services. So there's a few ways to get there. Uh, you can right click my computer, go to manage, and then services and applications, and then click services, and that'll get you to the window we want. Uh, you can also go to start, run, type services.msc and that'll get you where you need to go okay so this is the services window uh, it lists all Windows services and non-Windows services um, I only have one non-Windows service since I've installed the VirtualBox Guest Editions. It installs a service because I'm running this in a virtual machine, which I've documented in a previous video. Okay, so how do we know what services we need and what services we don't? Well, it's an important question because if you disable certain services, your machine won't function correctly. Some services are absolutely necessary. Uh, Luckily for us, there's a very good tutorial on what all the services do and what which ones are safe to disable for home users at blackviper.com. Okay, so we go to Black Viper. We're going down here. It's under the popular content because a lot of people use Black Viper for their service configurations. So I'm using Windows XP 32-bit, so I'll click on that. Now as we scroll down, he has a lot of information about the different configurations. Um, now we get to the services down here. Uh, so it has listed, uh, this column is the services column this is what the services are named to your computer if you want to use command line you need to use these names and then the default state of the services in the different versions of Windows XP so Windows XP Home, Media Center Edition, Pro and Tablet Edition I am currently working in Pro so that's what I'm going to be focusing on okay so Generally, I want to look at the safe column. This is going to be right for probably 99 to 95% of users. Uh, for the more advanced users, you can try tweaked or bare bones configurations, but I can't really guarantee anything with those. Uh, some things may cease to function. Okay, so uh, I encourage you to follow the safe list. Uh, when you see an asterisk, as you see, let's go down to here, see this says disabled, we're in the safe list. Uh, that means that he's recommending a change from the default. See the default in all of these Windows versions is automatic. He's recommending setting it to disabled. So let's see how we do that. Um, it's the error reporting service so we'll go into services here
and find the error reporting service. Here it is. Just like it says, I haven't edited it and it's set automatic and started. We can right click on it, go to properties, and set change the startup type in this drop down box to disabled. Now you can try to stop it right away. Sometimes that'll work and sometimes it won't. If it won't stop right away, you'll need to restart your computer and then it will be disabled. And we click OK. Um, two services that I absolutely think that everyone, all home users, should disable are the indexing service, which I've already disabled, as you can see. Uh, this creates indexes on your computer for faster file searching, they s so they say, um, but I have never found a use for it. All it does is waste space on your hard drive and waste CPU cycles. Um, another service that everybody who has Windows XP Pro, this is not a feature in XP Home, which is probably a good thing, is the remote registry. I already have it disabled. It comes started. Uh, there's absolutely no use for this service for the ho home user. Uh, maybe one out of a million home users is going to have some use for the remote registry, but otherwise it's just a vulnerability. Um, some other services that you might want to disable uh, the wireless zero configuration service. Uh, if your computer is hardwired and it's always hardwired and you don't use wireless at all with it, then you can disable this. Uh, there's no need for it. Um, also, the print spooler service. Uh, if your computer doesn't have a printer hooked up to it and you don't anticipate ever hooking a printer up to your computer, it's safe to disable this one as well. And you'll see that even though I disabled it, it still started. I didn't try to stop it in that previous window, but when I restart the computer, it will not be started. It will be disabled. So follow Black Viper's safe list. He recommends a few more uh, services be disabled or set to manual. Uh, if you experience any problems, then just go through, find the list, and see what you disabled, and re-enable them until it starts working. But most likely, if you follow the safe list, you won't have any problems. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, or you, if you'd like to know more, you can check out Black Viper. He has a lot of very good uh, Windows tweaks and tips. Uh, if you have any comments on this, you can check out gaslampcomputers.com.